Hello viewers, welcome to another session of your MOOCs course that is Internet of Things, Design Concepts and Use Cases. In today's session, we are going to talk about interfacing sound sensor and LED with Arduino board. This is a very simple practical where we are going to use one Arduino board, one your sound sensor and other than this we have LED along with breadboard and some connecting wires. The sound sensor basically senses the sound in the surrounding environment and based on the sensitivity of the diaphragm, it will further send signal to your Arduino board. So, you may find variety of sound sensors in the market with varying range of sensitivity level. One of them I am using here for this particular experiment. As you can see on your screen right now, we have the circuit diagram for this particular experiment. First of all, your sound sensor we have connected through three different pins out of which one is your VCC terminal, the second one is your ground terminal and third one is the data line. Your sound sensors can be available with analog as well as digital communication port. In my case, I have selected a sound sensor in which you will find both digital line as well as analog line. It clearly means that the sensor can be connected to your analog port on the Arduino board as well as on the digital port of your Arduino board. So, considering the current connection, we just have to add one LED along with a register. As we have discussed in the previous sessions, your register simply helps to control the flow of current through your LED based circuit. So, I have demonstrated the basic circuit diagram to you and now let us switch to the hardware part for making your connections. Here you can see I have the bread, breadboard along with Arduino Uno board in which I have inserted one LED along with one register over here. Now the one end of this LED which is your cathode terminal that we can connect to the ground of your Arduino board. Similarly, the other terminal will be connected to the signal port which will further communicate with your sound sensor. So, currently I am taking up two wires from here and one of the connections based on how you see flag of the LED. You have to identify the bigger and the smaller flag. Based on the bigger flag side, this will be the cathode terminal and this one I am taking further to ground terminal on my Arduino board. Similarly, the other terminal from the anode side extended to a register and from the register end further, I am making this connection to one of the digital ports over here and the same declaration we may have to make in your software side as well. Along with this, we have your sound sensor with us. This particular sound sensor consists of two important things. One we have is a potentiometer that you can use to adjust the sensitivity level of this particular sound sensor. At the same time, here we have a tiny diaphragm. In some other sensors, you may find a bigger diaphragm and according to that only, you have to adjust sensitivity of your sensor. And in order to adjust the sensitivity of sensor, you can simply take a screwdriver and hold it right inside the adjuster on the top of your potentiometer. So, we will see that while adjusting our experimental board. So, first of all, I have taken the ground terminal from my sensor which is the first one over here. I am taking it to the ground terminal on my Arduino board. So, the first connection we have made. Second one we have 
your VCC terminal which I have to connect to 5 volt on your Arduino board. So, here I have another 5 volt on my terminal or in your case depending upon if you have 2 5 volt connections available on your Arduino board or single accordingly you can extend your connections as per requirement. Then we have the third connection which is a data line and for this one let me select one of the pins available on your digital port. So, I have chosen pin number 3 over here. This is your simple hardware connection we are done with and now let us switch to the coding part. So, let me demonstrate it again with your Arduino IDE platform and I have a coding sequence for you over here. For the sound sensor there will be no requirement of a library. So, you may need not to declare any library in the beginning of your code. First of all I have declared pin number for my sound sensor. Currently you can see it is pin number 2 over here, but you definitely need to verify it on the hardware side as well. So, taking it back to the hardware side, currently we have connected the sound sensor data line on pin number 3 over here. So, you have to make same arrangement on the software side. So, let us correct this pin first of all. I will be taking it from 2 to 3, this will, will be your pin adjustment as per the hardware connection or vice versa you can do. Similarly, we have declared a pin for LED number 3 and you can see on the hardware side the pin number we have declared 2 for the LED connection. So, the same thing we have to change in the software side. For this I am again making LED pin as 2. Next to this the initial status of LED I have declared as false so that your LED stays off with its initial condition. After that we have the sequence for void setup where I am declaring the sound sensor as an input device and LED as an output device along with serial monitor initialization depending upon whether you need to display something on the output of it or not. Next to this we have the void loop section where I am first of all reading the sound sensor through digital read function as we have connected your sound sensor on the digital port. So, that is why I have to use digital read function. Similarly, the next sequence I have created is if your sensor value is high. In that case, the first task controller has to do is to check LED status. If your LED status is true, then it will be further transferred to as high LED means your LED will be turned on based on the sound sensed by the sensor. Similarly, in the next sequence in case if LED is false, it will be off based on the command that we have given to the output side. It clearly means that we are designing a sound based system to turn your LED on and off in sequence and we have not added any delay over here, but yes as per your choice you can add some delay and you can see the performance with some enhancement in your codes. So, let us have this code on your board now. So, for this first of all I need to make my USB terminal connection. So, I will just take this wire and insert it into my USB port. Next to this I have to upload my code and for this I will be first checking my port connections. If they are fine, we can get back to your next settings. First of all, the Arduino Uno board I have fixed up and then we have to click on the upload button. It will first compile your sketch and after that it will be uploaded to the selected board. So, it has been uploaded now, you can see the uploaded status over here and now we can go back to the hardware to see it is working. 
you can see here our Arduino has turned on as well as the sensor is also on. And there is one more interesting thing, you will find one LED over here and currently because I am speaking, so this sensor is continuously sensing my voice and you can see the LED is turning off and on as per the sound it is sensing from my voice. It can be further adjusted for the sensitivity level by changing the potentiometer position. In general, when you are using a sound sensor, we prefer that you have to place your potentiometer right at a position where the LED beside this, it turns off instantly. For example, let me take it back to a completely on position. So, if I rotate this particular potentiometer adjuster, you can see here we have the LED turned on on continuous fashion. Now, we have to rotate it back to ensure that your LED just turns off and right at the moment where it turns off instantly, you have adjusted its sensitivity to right pace and after that we are ready to use your sensor. For this, we just have to knock on the diaphragm and you can see the LED is turning on and off accordingly. Depending upon how you are using your sensor sensitivity level, you can control lights in your premises. And this particular experiment set up the base for your house lighting control as well. So, of course, you can expand it further to design a sound control lighting system for your smart homes. So, thank you for watching this particular video and we have discussed a very interesting sensor for today's session and we will meet again with very new set of sensors in coming videos. Thank you very much.